this whole unit in its operational function, you'll crack that valve at the bottom, that valve there, and let any excessive moisture be dispensated through the vents on the bottom of those. So it's important I maintain the right amount of air that the compressor has a capacity to deliver to me. Just remember too, if I crack that all the way open and cracked all the way open, I'm simulating another exit of air. So I could be simulating another blast nozzle losing excessive air. And the last thing I need to lose is excessive air if my two compressors are working to the capacity. So you only need to have them weep to let the moisture out. So as far as this unit's functionality is concerned, it does a lot of things. It just sits there and looks at you like that, but ultimately it's an accumulator, cools the air, makes sure the moisture is displaced in such a manner that it doesn't impede the operation of the equipment that I'm trying to utilise. And don't forget that as far as this regulator is concerned to run this air motor, there is an isolation valve on the back of this. Now with any pressure vessel, there must be a relief valve. On this particular unit, there's a relief valve over the back here. The relief valve, is it compromised by anything, by moisture and so forth? It's serviced every 12 months. So because it's a brass housing, that will be, with no air in this particular unit, that will be removed from the top of the vessel, inspected, cleaned, make sure the seats are correct and so forth, and replaced. We always use thread tape on any fittings that we use here, primarily because we don't want air escaping or leaks. The other thing to remember too, if you don't put thread tape on these, and you have moisture escaping here, it's coming through a small hole. So ultimately the thing will get hot. So you leave yourself susceptible to burns, and also too, impregnation of your skin with that excessive air that may be escaping from those areas. So the safety aspect of these things is paramount importance, not to be overlooked, always to be adhered to. It's written in your JSA, so if it's written there, you adhere to it. So primarily the function of this particular unit is to receive, cool, dispensate air. After you've used this particular unit for six to 12 months, if you have a compressor that's in poor repair and making oil, pushing oil, pushing oil up into these particular lines, what you will need to do is there's a hand hole in this particular unit in that there's bungs, bung in the top, all these fittings need to come out and the tap that's on the bottom of this unit is unscrewed. So you, what you're doing is you're removing any fittings that are on this particular unit, making sure it's isolated with no air on it. And then we use something like a hot wash unit, so every 12 months, or a lot sooner than that if your compressor's making oil, you will evacuate this particular vessel, pressure vessel, by ways of putting a hot wash in there and you'll be washing, poking the wand in there and washing this particular unit. You must wear the appropriate PPE. You must wear glasses, you must wear a face shield. I advise you to wear earmuffs because the noise of the nozzle poked around in there. How much pressure would I need? 20,000, 30,000 PSI? No. 1,200 PSI of hot water is more than adequate to wash, cleanse the stainless steel mesh that I spoke of in there and also to wash the walls. Would I need to recover the water that I wash out of there? Yes, because it may be oily. So I make sure that I capture the moisture that's released from the bottom of this pressure vessel because I'm hot washing the thing. Is that the maintenance that's required? Also at that period of time when I wash it out, I check ball valves for their seat concentricity around the ball, the seals, so the taps, the handles, make sure they're nice and tight. Any gaskets that I may remove, because ultimately when you wash this, you will need to take this re return line or the feed line, primary feed line into the receiver. You'll need to take that off. Now underneath those flanges, there is a clingerite gasket. It's made of clingerite to cope with the temperature of the air, if it does exceed any temperature. And also too, it's designed to, the clingerite gasket is designed to have a configuration in such a way that it copes with the pressure. So when I remove those flanges and undo those series of bolts to evacuate this particular unit of any oil, water and so forth, I'll check the repair of those clingerite gaskets if they need replacing. Ultimately, you'll cut some more or you'll ring the supplier and say, can I have some more gaskets for this particular unit? So the gaskets in these particular fittings as well, they're checked 
to be quite honest with you, every time you undo these units. So every time I undo this hose, I'll check those gaskets for good repair. It's of paramount importance that they are checked daily if they're removed to ensure that they maintain the full surface, the full extrusion of gasket from the parent metal out to the marrying gasket on the other or alternate fitting. So if you do all of the things that we recommend in relation to taping properly, checking gaskets, whip checks, pins, evacuating any excessive moisture, making sure that it's lubricating, making sure the fins are clear and clean, the fan is spinning, the return air is not hot, all these valves are shut prior to putting air into the machine. If you maintain all those vigil aspects of it, if you maintain a vigil in relation to the aspects of this particular machine, you'll stay safe, the machine will work to its optimum, and more importantly, the job will get done quickly because you've got a particular machine here that does a specific job. The specific job is to remove moisture from my primary air. If I'm doing that, that maintains the longevity of the subsequent equipment attached to this particular unit. So stay safe, look after the equipment. If you look after it, it'll look after you. And ensure that you do follow any procedure in relation to this particular unit. And thanks for watching.